Well, Paul, congratulations successfully through to, to round four. You must be happy with that. Yeah, very delighted. I think, you know, it was a great exercise for us. I mean, we got some players minutes in the park. They all come through unscathed. Uh, Hutch got his 45 minutes, which was always going to be the case. He's never going to play more than that. He, he looked good for the first half. Um, and we played some good stuff. You know, we've got Kelvin, you know, on the right-hand side, the young kid. You know, listen, he's played like a couple of years against Comptry last year or the year before. So he knows um, this level. And then Craigie coming late at the end. You know, I look comfortable, you know. And, that, and that's important sometimes in the 21s. You want to bring players on, you've got to throw them in and see how they get on. And they, they did, both did very, very well. Kelvin getting his, what he calls it, you know, a mink goal. You know, whether he meant it or not, I don't know. I don't think he really cares. The fact that it's his first goal, you know, first team football. It's great for the lad, really, really is. And I thought, you know, his overall performance was very, very, very good. For someone who's not actually played for a long, long time, to just to throw him into this, into this situation. Um, but yeah, apart from that, everyone's come un unscathed. It's a clean sheet. Watford have got their own problems, as we has been highlighted. Uh, we've got 15 major players out, so I can, you can understand Slaven going a little bit weakened, you know, with what he's got. And there were some young kids in there from Burn. But listen. Ultimately, they had, a, they had a good set-up, they had a good team, so and a team that came to win the game. So, I've just got to take credit, and just, you know, to the, give credit to the players and say, well, kept a clean sheet, two goals, and the objective was to get into the next round, and that's what we've done. And you said that because there's some of those players who you wouldn't necessarily be able to throw in to a championship game, the sort of pressure of it, but you've had that opportunity to, and you're going to get the op next opportunity in round four, potentially, too. We'll see, how we, see what kind of draw we get, but it's, <laughs> a, it's, a, good, it's a good sort of situation to be where we've got that, that game that's a, a different kind of pressure to the championship. Yeah, it's, it's a different kind of, and, and the thing is, you, know, you learn a lot about your players, you know, and we've got Femi. Then they made his first start, you know, he was cramping up towards 65 minutes. So as much as, as much as getting a result also, we've also got players ahead of the ahead of them games now. So we go to QPR, we've got players who are a lot fitter, a lot stronger. Uh, listen, it depends who we get in the next round, you know, but you know, Rich, the main priority is, is the championship. And um, we've managed to rest the likes of Thomas and Junior and Yids, you know, people like that and Joe and that. So that's helped us recharge our batteries. And, you know, championship is our priority, you know that. And uh, we go again on Saturday. But it's important today, you know, just get a win after the West Brom game. I don't care if it's FA Cup, Carabao Cup, doesn't matter. You know, just get a win after that defeat. It's always nice. And, uh, you know, that takes us nice into the QPR game, which should be a completely different opposition yesterday. Touching the goal as well, you got Kelvin's goal, as he said, whether he meant it or not, he's not going to care. But, and also Shane, a really good, important one for him too. His first, I think, first goal in open play actually since he's come back. He took it brilliantly. And yeah, these are good moments, aren't they, for us? They're good moments, and you've got to enjoy good moments. Um, and listen, Shane's a credit to himself. You know, you know, you know for someone, as I said before, he's the ultimate pro. You know, he took his, broke his nose two days ago, two weeks ago in training, and he's just got cut arm, cut hand. He's, he's all over the, all over the place. But he keeps going, he keeps going, and he never gives up. And he probably deserved his goal. I mean, it was a wonderful ball from Tom Mack, who I must say was sensational today. You know, people forget we are. I asked Tom Mack to play in so many positions, and he doesn't moan, he doesn't gripe, but just gets on with it and just gives it his all. And I thought today he was immense. And the ball that he played into Shane, what a ball! You know, what a ball! And then. You've got someone who's 35 running away from the centre halves. This centre halves who played in the Premier League, by the way, so um, And then you think, can he compose himself and finish? And he finished lightly. And that'd be, that'd be a good lift for Shane, you know what I mean? Just, just all strikers want to do is get their goals, Rich, you know that. And, but you've got to work hard in it, you know, it's not just about getting goals. And I thought Lucas at times, you know, retained the ball great, you know, like well, I want him to. Um, so overall, it was a very good afternoon. Lastly, yeah, I think in a, just over 24 hours' time, you'll be seeing the balls come out of the hats. Um, a couple of your old clubs will probably be in there if they get through their games today and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's a, the, the draw is always an exciting moment, isn't it? I don't think anyone ever, anyone who's involved in the club always looks forward to a draw, don't they? Yeah, we do, we do. And I listen, for me personally, I'd like, as, long as, we, as long as we're at home, you know, listen, if you're going to go away, you want to go to the big boys. You want to go to Liverpool or City or whatever it is, you know. But if not, then you want to have a home game, you know. We've, We've done a lot of travelling in the championship this, this season as it is. So, um, but listen, it's exciting, you know, and, you know, it's exciting for the fans, you know, because the fans want a dream, you know, and um, the fact they're in the hat for, next, for, for, for tomorrow, you know, is a credit to the players who performed today.